BTV Gaming here. We've got a brand new game from Sega and Pacomi. This is one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen on mobile, and this really shows that there can be console quality games on your mobile device. So the game starts out in Levantia, and it's a floating city island, and there's all these little characters with helicopter heads, and they float around. There's over 10 hours of deep gameplay and a whole bunch of worlds to explore, so this is definitely not a small game. This definitely looks like a game that comes from Nintendo. The character design, the story, everything is top notch. Now there are three different ways to control Hiroki. Um, we have this here, which is the pool feature, and basically you just grab on, tap and hold, and drag your finger around where you want Hiroki to fly. It's a little confusing, but um, luckily we get a few different ways to uh, change our controls. So I'm gonna go here and do the pad, which I'm probably most familiar with, and see how this works. When you start the game, you learn how to play. There's a few different techniques that Hiroki has, and you definitely need to master them before you go on your big adventure. The first thing you learn how to do is a cannonball. You simply tap on the screen, and Hiroki dive bombs down. You learn how to pop clouds, and drop boxes, and also do a Yoshi's Island kind of box toss. After the villain disappears, you meet the king who talks about the history of Levantia. So it looks like we're finally ready to start our adventure in Kuroki. There are four different worlds to explore. I'm going to show you guys a few of my game highlights throughout my adventure. Now the graphics in this game are absolutely beautiful. There's, there's so much depth in the background. Everything is moving. It's animated. It feels very alive. It feels very, very Nintendo. I, I really can't get over the fact that this is not a Nintendo game. This is a beautiful, beautiful platformer. Um, and it offers a whole bunch of different variety of puzzles and things um, that you don't expect. The islands feature so many different areas to explore, and there's a deep story throughout. One of the coolest things was going inside a whale, which was very similar to going into a pipe in Super Mario Brothers. But things are a little different inside a whale. As I said, each level features different puzzles and techniques that you have to learn and master, and there are plenty of enemies in your path that you have to destroy. These puzzles change in variety quite often, so don't expect the same things on each level.
It took me quite some time to learn the controls. I really didn't like the push and the pull feature. The joypad got a little buggy, but it didn't take away from the overall fun of Pearlie. Each level offers plenty of action and hidden levels to explore. One thing you can't ignore about this game is that it's absolutely beautiful. You can tell the developers took their time making the game since they started making it in 2010. I think Hiroki is going to be one of those games that's going to make mobile game history as far as the gameplay, the graphics, and the possibilities of what gaming can be on a mobile device. So congrats to Pakomi and Sega for doing the outstanding job with Hiroki. Yeah! The game costs $7.99 on the App Store, but don't let that scare you. This is pretty much a high quality 5 star game, so you're definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck. We want to hear what your favorite mobile game is. Leave your comment down below. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. We've got a bunch more gaming videos coming your way. If you want to check out our LEGO minifigures adventures, click on this video right here. And as always, thanks for watching.